with DIY, it's not, it's never perfect. You know, like you're like, it's, I know it's not gonna be perfect. I'll get it as good as I can get it. Hi, are you Kassan? I'm Courtney McLeod, an interior designer and the principal of Right Meets Left Interior Design. I'm here today to help Kassan with her bedroom. Yes, are you Courtney? Hi, my name is Kassan. I think my current bedroom has a lot of elements from my childhood and I really just need an upgrade right now in my life. I'm in my 30s, I'm an entrepreneur. If you walked in my room, I don't think you would know any of these things about me. So I'm hoping that the changes will really make that difference. We have some fantastic ideas to really spruce up this space, make it feel more adult, more fabulous like the mature woman you are, and we're really excited to get started. So our plan for this space is to make it a focal point of the room, and we're going to do one of my favorite tricks, which is temporary wallpaper and it's a way to take any wallpaper and make it temporary this installation method allows you to put it on securely and you can take it off without worrying about damaging your walls so it's it's a pretty neat trick all you need is your favorite wallpaper and handy blue tape and then the last piece of the puzzle will be a really heavy duty double stick tape when we're ready to take it off all we're doing is removing blue painters tape easy. Can I get the other mm -hmm. side? So now that we have it all framed out, we need to put a, another long piece where our wallpaper seam will be. It's really just a run of the mill, just a heavy duty double stick tape, you know, no particular brand, but you definitely don't want to do this with just like, you know, a clear double stick tape that probably won't last for a long time. I like to just randomly put a few pieces of our blue tape and our sticky tape and then that'll make sure that we don't get any kind of like a bubbling effect just and again random locations you just want to kind of get it a bit of a zigzag we're all double stick taped we're ready to go so this is definitely the trickiest part in this roll we should have enough to get three full panels or drops is what you would you'd call it in wallpaper lingo now we're basically matching our pattern on the wallpaper this pattern is what's called a straight match which means that basically going across the pattern repeats and it's like a straight match. Some wallpapers, you actually have to offset the pattern and that's a little bit more complicated. So for a DIY like this, do yourself a favor and pick a straight match. The best thing that you can do for yourself is to really take your time with the center panel because if you do that, it's gonna give you a nice straight line on either side. And so when you're doing your side panels, it's gonna make things a lot, lot easier because we'll be able to take a simple straight razor and just cut that edge so we have a really clean, professional looking line. I decided to swap out the bed frame for a couple of key reasons. Number one, the lower profile of this bed fits uh, more proportionately within this small space. Number two, the height of the headboard. While I love the drama of height in this particular space, it didn't quite work because so much of it covered our wonderful windows looking out onto the backyard. And number three, I really wanted to bring in another soft texture into the space. And this deep blue velvet really adds a luxurious note to the design. We chose a duvet set that would bring in a bit more pattern into the space. And I really wanted to bring in something that was particularly feminine, especially as a foil to the more angular masculine lines of the bed. I love how this red tones in here sort of relate back to the red tones in our feature wall wallpaper. And I think it really brings a lot of interest into the space. We 
decided to change the ceiling light fixture to bring in something a bit more elegant and sophisticated for the space. I also love the idea of bringing in something with a soft texture to really lend a softer, more welcoming vibe to the bedroom. I also love how the scalloped shape really references the kind of curves in our wallpaper. And you'll see that that's kind of a repeating motif within the space. I would definitely recommend hiring an electrician or an experienced handyman whenever you're doing any sort of electrical work just for safety. But you know, here we're just doing the final touch, putting in the bulb. So I think we'll be okay. Can you bring it lower? I just want to see. 18 and a half. Let's do 17 from the top. 17, so probably right around there. Yep. So we selected a really beautiful statement mirror. Really this part of the bedroom is a focal point for us. And so we wanted to both reinforce our blue accent color scheme. We also, you'll see we're repeating that curve motif, which we have in our light fixture and which we have in our wallpaper. And it's a subtle detail that we also have in our curtains when those go, go up. And it just adds a really fun, whimsical, feminine moment to the space. So we'll just go ahead and dress up this small desk area with just a few accessories. So first we have a really lovely table lamp that again, has a really wonderful curved shape, very feminine. And of course it's practical because it brings some light into this potentially darker corner of the bedroom. And then to punch things up and really make this little corner pop, we decided to add a really cute petite stool in a wonderful deep blue velvet. And it just has a really cool shape, really soft, really inviting and just a little touch of fun. In order to give the best feature in this space, our large windows, to really give them a lot of presence, we decided to fully dress them, and that means layered window treatments. So we decided to use a simple bamboo woven Roman shade, which adds a nice, more casual touch to the space. And we're gonna pair that with a beautiful textured cream curtain, which we're gonna hang all the way to the ceiling. One of the challenges in this space is that we don't have a lot of ceiling height. And so hanging our curtains all the way up to the ceiling, it creates a long line that to your mind really elongates the space and makes the ceiling feel taller. Combined, it really creates a wonderful dressing to our windows. And I think again, brings in a bit of a soft feminine element to this bedroom. So a really great cost-effective alternative to art is framing wallpaper. So we actually decided to use one of our favorite wallpapers uh, from Vutsa. And we're just gonna put that right there. Now, one thing I like to do is add a bit of blue tape just to keep it secure. You don't have to do this step, but I find that it makes for a longer lasting installation. And then we'll just pop this right back into the frame. And voila. You don't want anything that is too big of a scale, especially if you're working with a small space like this. And so you want something that's gonna have a mix of colors, maybe even some figures like this one, so that it really starts to feel like art instead of I just framed a random piece of wallpaper. <laughs> to find the samples, you can really just go online and most wallpaper companies will actually either send out free samples or you can buy a sample like this for a few dollars. So it's really wonderful art at a really great price.
So we selected a rug that would fit perfectly in front of the bed and really define this space as its own. This is gonna be a relaxation space, a little bit of a meditation space, really a spot for Kassan to really relax and enjoy the bedroom. So we wanted to add a meditation poof to the space. Um, it's a compact piece and it actually helps with alignment when you're sitting on the ground and you are contemplating the world. And then we wanted to also bring in something a bit more stylish, um, but functional. And so we got her a new hamper. This one is adorable, perfect size for one. And I think the design fits a bit with our meditation vibe we have on this side of the space. Are you ready to see your new bedroom? Yes, I'm ready. All right, come on in. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it looks it looks a lot bigger and the ceilings <laughs> look higher. And there are a couple things that we did to achieve that. First, we added the wonderful curtains to really dress the windows, really give them some presence. And then you also have the option of the bamboo shades as well. Mm -hmm. If you want a little more privacy, a little less light. And bringing them all the way up to the ceiling, that's one of the things that really helps to make the ceiling feel a lot taller. The other thing is that we used a bed with a smaller profile. Mm -hmm. Now it's the same width, so you have as much comfortable sleeping space as mm -hmm. before. But now you can really see the space. You can mm -hmm. really enjoy the windows. And I think having the bed be less of a primary focal point mm -hmm. really helps to, you know, make the room make sense. I mean, <laughs> I definitely like the the window treatments. You know, it definitely makes the space look bigger. I mean, I like the desk. It's definitely an upgrade from my <laughs> from my previous desk. And, you know, I definitely I, I like that it can like double as a vanity or I could use it to do work which is good. Yeah, we really wanted to create a little bit of a feature in the space, again, because all the walls are kind of neutral, and we thought this would be the perfect nook. It's a workspace, it's a vanity, and so we wanted it to feel very feminine mm -hmm. and very luxe. So we actually installed this wallpaper in a temporary way um, through the magic of <laughs> heavy-duty double stick tape. So then whenever you're ready for a change or anything like that, you just peel it off, it won't damage your walls, and you're ready for your next uh, wallpaper choice. <laughs> okay. I know I didn't have a rug, but I do like rugs. <laughs> Cause I generally walk around the house barefoot. You know, it's nice to have something comfortable that I could like, you know, hang out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we wanted to really help use the rug to define this space as your meditation spot, your mm -hmm. relaxation spot. And we really love this piece of art that you had. And so we wanted to give it um, a little bit of pride of place. <laughs> I painted this painting uh, in, I believe seven, no, sixth grade. I was like in sixth grade and I painted it in my mom. She loved it, so she framed it. So the frame is definitely worth way more than the painting is. <laughs> and you know, it was hung up in our home in Florida and then it ended up coming here somehow a few years ago <laughs> and now it's still here <laughs> so I, I guess that says something you know you can't escape your past <laughs> it's a nice little humble reminder definitely i actually think it's pretty impressive for sixth grade well this is definitely an upgrade <laughs> so thank you for all the You're hard welcome. work you put into this space welcome. i think it's a lot more reflective of where i'm at in my life right now so i appreciate this and i think it's you know gonna help inspire me to do even more in the next like decade oh that makes me really happy you're very welcome <laughs>